okay so now we are able to add our records in our application all right so the next thing what i'm going to do is when you click this more button what i want is to go to a new page which will display this new record the date and also the description for this data click this more button nothing's going to happen all right because we haven't specified the path for this link so let's go to our diary.ejs and here in our href add a path which will be diary slash and here we need to send the id all right for this particular data because along with title date and description id also comes with the data so what i'm going to do is say diary dot id all right and if i save this and now if i go to more of this data right here all right of this record so if i click here okay this is taking me to diary slash and this id right here okay although we haven't created a route for it that's why it's giving me cannot get this error right here and similarly if i go to more here for this new record too it's taking me again to diary slash the id of that record and the reason why i added id here is because when you click the more button here you'd want to go to a page that will display this record instead of this one all right so if i hit the more and in this page i can actually grab this id and i can search the database based on this id and display the data here all right same thing i can do with this record so let's go and create a route for this path as well so if i go to my app.js and here i'm going to create a comment and say route for displaying records and i'm going to say app dot get and remember the route is slash diary slash this id right here however here what you're going to do is say slash diary slash and instead of writing this id what i'm going to do is add a colon and say id all right and the reason i'm doing this is because this will not only work for this id but it it will work for all other ids all right so and here let's say request and response and for now here let's just say res.send and basically we can act as i said earlier we can get this id all right so the way we get that is by saying request dot params dot id this won't work unless and until you put colon id right here okay so if you save that and if you go here and if you refresh the page and there you go this id is being displayed right here all right which means that we we are being able to grab this id right here and not only does it work for this record but it will work for this record as well and as you can see here this id is right here okay so it will basically work for all the records that you will add that is because here you added colon id that will work for all the ids of the data all right and here i'm just displaying that id with the help of request.params.id but in our project we're not going to just send this id what we're going to do is we need to search the database and find the data whose id matches this id right here okay so what we're going to do is remember that we had created the model which is this diary we're going to use it again all right so we need to find that data so what i'm going to do here is say diary dot now instead of adding find right we're going to say find one diary dot find one will just give you one record all right but here we need to add a parameter which is an object and inside that we need to specify based on what value we are fetching the data all right in our case it's the id so we're going to say underscore id and we'll set that to request dot params dot id 
The reason why I added underscore here is because this is how the ID is saved in our database, all right? So if I go to MongoDB Atlas and if I go to collections here, you will see that the ID is saved as underscore ID, all right? So that's why we are adding underscore right here. Okay, so what this statement says is that from all the data in our collection, we are actually finding one whose ID is equal to request.params.id, which is the ID of our particular record, all right? So once it finds the data, it's gonna send a promise and it will return the matched data, all right? So data, and here what I'm gonna do is res dot render and I'm going to render a new page which is going to be page now we haven't actually created the EJS for this and along with that we're also going to send the data all right this data right here so let's create this page so in our views let me create a new file that says page dot EJS all right and let me add the headers and the footers let's remove this all right and for now let's just let me just display the data all right so I'm gonna open and close the edges brackets and here I'm gonna say data let's save that and if there is any error we're gonna catch that by saying by console logging the error All right, so now if I go to more right here, there you go, I'm actually getting this data of new record and this description and this date, all right? So basically we're getting this same data inside this page with the help of this ID, all right? And if I go to new record two, there you go, instead of the new record one, I'm getting new record two here, all right? and this is based on this id so we actually use this id in order to fetch this data in this page all right and this is how you can use id in order to fetch a particular data so basically what we did was instead of finding all the data we actually used the find one method in order to find a single data whose id matches the id which we fetched from this path so now instead of just displaying this raw data, I'm going to display it here in our page. All right. So let's add our HTML. So I'm going to say div class equals page container. Let me close that. And I'm going to add an h1 tag. And here I'm going to display the title. So I'm going to say data dot title and let's add a p tag here and I'm going to display the date here. So data dot date and finally I'm going to display the description. So let's add a p tag again and here I'm going to add a class of diary text and here let me just say data dot description all right let's save that and let's see how this looks so if i refresh this page and there you go instead of just raw data i'm displaying it as an html basically this is how you with the help of the unique ID, you can actually fetch a particular data.